Well, uh, Baker Mayfield's like the complete opposite of Derek Carr right now. He, he is miserable. He says he feels disrespected uh, by the Browns. Cleveland has four quarterbacks on the roster right now, especially adding uh, Josh Dobbs. All right, so Baker's time in Cleveland is obviously done. Jeff, is anyone going to be willing to, to trade for this guy, or you think the, the Browns are just going to cut him? I know that Baker himself, like, mentioned Seattle is a good option for him. Like, he, he just doesn't care what he says anymore. He's just like, yeah, this could be where I end up. Somebody needs to just tell Baker Mayfield to just be quiet yeah. for, like, a week, and he'll probably get traded. Like, legitimately, just be quiet for two weeks, and you'll this will probably be over. He can't do it. He's talking himself out of every team. You think Seattle now wants him? He's already placed himself on top of the depth chart in Seattle. It's like he's already undermining Drew Locke. He's not even on the team. Just to be quiet, dude. Yeah, Seattle probably does have some interest in you. They're the only team, really, who may have it. So be quiet and wait for them to get a deal done. I think he's going to get cut because I don't think anybody wants to touch this guy now. The Colts went with Matt Ryan. They could have got Baker Mayfield for cheaper. What did they do? They paid Matt Ryan a gazillion dollars to bring him in. I think that the Cleveland basically has no choice here. I think he is going to get cut. And I think he's going to have to suck it up and really just come in and probably sit on the bench for a year. You know, we've seen other quarterbacks do that. Marcus Mariota did it. I don't know if Baker's capable of doing it because that means he's going to have to be quiet and hold the clipboard. It's a weird situation, man. But, like, this guy is absolutely talking himself out of the league, it seems like, every single day. And I, I like him. I do. I like watching him play. I just want him to be quiet for a bit so that he can get another shot. So that's my advice to Baker Mayfield. Yeah, Reed, do you agree Cleveland probably has no choice at this point? Well, they can keep him, right? They don't, they don't have to do anything. They cannot uh, keep him. Uh, no, no, look, they, from, a, from, from an organizational standpoint, I know we're talking about economics and Pierce, take, he's taking us to school here, but he's what? He's due $18.8 million. Now, he's already factored into the cap, right? So it's not a, a knock against their cap hit because he was already factored in that. So you got, like, if you want to trade him, you got to find a team that's going to be willing to take that money on, which that's also part of it. So what Cleveland is probably thinking about is saying, hey, look, we know Baker is not going to play for us. Baker doesn't want to play for us. We don't want Baker on the team. So they're in a they're in between a rock and a hard place and just into trying to get the most out of Baker Mayfield right now. And they're probably looking to what Jeff was just talking about, saying, hey, Baker, be quiet and we'll try and get you the best, you know, being in the best position possible. Cleveland probably has to tie in a late round, like a sixth or a fifth round draft pick or if maybe even a fourth, which is an astronomical mm-hmm. in terms of Baker Mayfield to get him off the books. But if they cut him, the, the only issue, though, Jeff, is and I agree with you that that's probably the best route is that he'll probably stay in division, right? And maybe go to Pittsburgh and have a nice little QB battle with your boy, Mitch Trubisky, and take it to the Browns twice in that same division, right? That's the only issue is that he'll probably want to stay in division because this guy is petty, right? He is petty if he's going on podcasts saying he was disrespectful. I, I, look, if you're the Cleveland Browns, I, I, I think you're fine with Baker Mayfield staying in the division, getting to play him. At yeah. this point in his career, with what he's shown, I probably. think you're fine with that. So it's probably. fair. It may happen, but... I don't think that's like a huge concern in the Browns front office right now. Pierce, who would want this guy? It's it's probably going to be Seattle. And I agree with Jeff. He does need to stop talking, but it's Baker Mayfield. This is what he does. He talks. At least, you know, he's not talking into the money phone like the former Cleveland quarterback. Things could be a lot worse. We're giving Baker a hard time. Do we remember who was there before him and the issues that they were dealing with? And I'll defend him a little bit. He was dealing with injury. His offensive lines had injury problems. He had a prima donna at wide receiver that didn't play very many games. As he mentioned, he's dealt with four different offensive coordinators. Yeah. I wouldn't quite give up on him yet, although Cleveland needs to get him out of town as soon as possible, and they're just going to have to cut him. Everybody knows that they're going to have to cut him. That's what Seattle's waiting for. Seattle's just waiting for him to get cut. They will pick him up, and he could fit nicely into that offense. We'll see. Uh, but uh, he's got to get out of town. he got to change the locks or something because he is hurting that team. <laughs>